This is your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm C.S. Scatterly. Prime Minister the Right Honorable Perry Christie will be the keynote speaker for this year's Grand Bahama Business Outlook, which will be held at the Grand Lucayan Resort on March 9th. Speakers also include Senior Manager for Sales and Commercial Development at the Grand Bahama Development Company, Charles Pratt, Grand Bahama's Chamber of Commerce President Mick Holding, and Executive Director of the National Training Agency, Agatha Marcel. Organizer of the Business Outlook Series, TCL's President Joan Albrey, says the 19th annual event is essential and this year's focus will be taking an unvarnished look at the island's environment, its people and its problems to formulate new, better targeted ways to address and solve the most pressing issues. In other business news, the Bahamas Telecommunications Company has restructured its business division to place a special focus on small businesses. The company's channels and directory publications manager, Nadja Finlayson, and business intelligence senior associate, Shanique Miller, were recently trained, assessed, and certified in the Start and Improve Your Business program. The program, developed by the International Labor Organization, was held at the Bahamas Chamber of Commerce and Employers Confederation. The program focuses on promoting business development policies that support job creation, entrepreneurship, and the growth of the small business sector. The Bahamas is one of 96 countries to have these types of trainers. And in international news, India's cash crisis has taken a surprisingly small bite out of its economic growth. The country's gross domestic product grew by 7% in the quarter ended December. That's slower than the 7.4% expansion posted in the previous quarter, but a much better result than most analysts had forecast. Economists had expected a sharp slowdown to result from Prime Minister Narendra Modi's abrupt decision to ban all 500 and 1,000 rupee notes last November. The shock move immediately took 86% of the country's cash out circulation, hitting key sectors of the economy. This has been your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm C.S. Gatterly.